In 1992, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed December 3 as International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Since then, the observance has promoted the awareness of the rights and mobilized support for persons with disabilities. The theme in 2021 focused on leadership and participation of persons with disabilities toward an inclusive and sustainable post-COVID-19 world. Education Officer for Special Education Dale Sajist on International Day of Persons with Disabilities highlighted the strides made in St. Lucia's education sector. It used to be that you just knew that there was a child in a home with a condition and that child very often was never presented in public. That is something that has changed significantly and many children with significant disabilities are now presented for education to the, 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 the special school system. We, we, so we have an increased presence of children with various disabilities being educated and being supported based on what their particular special need is. So that has changed. We also have changes with the, the attitude of people in society. Although persons with disabilities still experience a measure of maltreatment, that is less so than it used to be. So we have less teasing, less abuse, less harassment. Although it is not anywhere close to where we need for it to be, it's an area that needs continuous action and attention. Sejis recognized the importance of governmental support to institutions for persons with disabilities. So we have government subventions going to various organizations that support persons with disabilities. We have special schools that used to be essentially private schools that are now fully embraced by government in terms of providing um, qualified teachers, uh, an annual subvention, various school supplies and the technical support of the Department of Education. So we, we have made some important strides. We are not where we want to be as yet, but it's a work in progress. Children with special needs receive support from the Donation Foundation through the donation of supplies. In recognition of the International Day, um, a, a set of items were donated to children with special needs that, that is a combination of items that are necessary within the COVID environment, so, such as hand sanitizers, um, um, protective equipment and things of, of that sort as well as a consignment of uh, disposable diapers, which are critical to a particular subsection of children with multiple disabilities who will have a lifetime experience of needing to use diapers. So that's, that's a donation that we are very grateful for. The observance seeks to raise awareness of the benefits derived from the integration of persons with disabilities in all aspects of society. From the Government Information Service, Mark reporting.